want to first start by asking you guys a question. Raise your hand if somewhere throughout your lifetime here, if somebody's told you that you need to get bigger, stronger, or faster, maybe you need to lose weight. Raise your hand if that's ever been told you. You know, one of the things is it's always hard to share my brother's story, but I know it's an important story for the kids to hear. Uh, but it always feels good after a program to know that I've hopefully made an impact. Because if we can just save one life, you know, you have one kid that was going to, might make that decision to use drugs and, and doesn't. It's worth every every hour. It's worth all the pain resharing the story and going through it all um, so that we can save lives. For this assembly, we've been involved with the charity, and they do events in, uh, at the games up in uh, Party Suite. And when they presented us with the opportunity to help sponsor an actual assembly and see the work that they actually do, having young kids involved in sports, it's really pretty neat to see their message and what they're teaching and to see kids learn something was uh, pretty, pretty cool. Okay, everyone, you all know who this is, a charter member of the Taylor Hutton Foundation's advisory board, Brett Gardner. Um, you know, I'll just open the floor up to questions from you guys and, um, and hang out for a little bit. It was, it was unbelievable. I mean, everything that he talked to the kids about, and I mean, there's no better classroom than Yankee Stadium and having a better role model than, than Brett Gardner to come out and talk to the kids and share his experience and what it took to get to the professional level without the use of drugs and how he currently takes care of his body through nutrition. About a week before my brother passed away, we're laying on the beach and we were visiting about all sorts of stuff and, you know, I was asking about anabolic steroids and he's like, you know, you really shouldn't use them. They make me feel aggressively depressed. I guess the biggest thing is, is, you know, I like to always ask the kids how many of them have ever been educated about the topic of appearance and performance enhancing drugs. And when you saw none of the hands go up, I knew how important it was for us to be here today. Number one, for them to hear my brother's story and what our family went through, that they, you know, they're the same age. And it's, it's education that they can use to make a, a decision uh, to not use these drugs going forward. Going in, I, I'd never heard of the foundation, uh, but after, you know, learning about it today, it's, it's obviously, you know, they do great work and it's, you know, really great foundation that I think more people should, should know about and, and really like appreciate. Just do, they do great work. Yeah. Uh, I think these boys hearing that kind of story and someone who's around their age when it happens, it's, it's eye-opening. 